Hey everybody, this is Spencer. I'm on location in Enterprise, the location of our next estate sale. Um, be sure to check out DothanEstateSales.com um, for more information, pictures, and details. Um, and be sure to subscribe down here and hit the little bell next to it so you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. Um, we have a house packed full, if you haven't seen already. We're gonna show you uh, lots of pretty things to take home with you. Lots of old lady glass, lots of young lady glass, and lots of just glass. Um, Kenny will be on the camera today so we can have a little uh, better show and tell instead of trying to hold it here. And you know, I think last time the lens was dirty and everything. Uh, but like I said, be sure to uh, visit DothanEstateSales.com for more information. We have another great sale coming up two weeks after this, two or three weeks after this one in Graceville. Uh, so you want to check out that too. And don't forget, we start at 4 p.m. And I think it's going to be really hot and I don't want you guys all sitting out in the heat. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a sign-up sheet. Uh, I expect everyone to go by that sheet. Uh, 30 minutes before we start. I'd like to kind of see everybody getting into the order on that sheet um, as best that as they can. That's kind of why I don't like to do these because people come and sign up and then just want to not let anybody where they were. So to be fair, what we will do is we will put out a sign up sheet at 12 noon on Thursday. Uh, we will open the doors right away at four o'clock. Cash, debit, <laughs> business check. Um, I will get off the camera and we will show you what we got. It's me. <laughs> All right. Let's start by starting at the front door. We have this great little shelf unit here. Hey, and you don't have to get me, you know, all so, uh, yeah. If you have questions, uh, comments, anything like that, be sure to do that here or message us privately on our Facebook page. Uh, we've got this beautiful iCart here. As you can see, it is signed. Pretty piece. Couple little pieces of glass here on the shelf. We could have filled that up a little more, but it's right by the door. It might not be here when we start because the last thing you want to do is, yeah. All right, let's keep going. Uh, scroll over here, a little commode. A couple of things were spread out. We were taking pictures of some of the currency on here. Uh, I'll upload some new pictures of a couple things that we got gotten today that we did not have pictured. And if you come in here, we kind of cleared this off so it's easier to get around. We've added a couple more uh, tables elsewhere. And if Kenny will pan around through here, we got this great curio china cabinet. I'd say it's a china cabinet. Pretties in there. Lots of porcelain. Looks like Limoges. Got some glass down there. Great little table. Now are these the, what are these, the German pieces? Carved with a nice little four-tiered stool. Another great little piece of furniture. Yeah. Lots of Fenton. Is this all the Fenton or is there more? A couple more pieces. That got these Aperm. Got these Epper jeans right here. You guys like these Epper jeans, so y'all make sure y'all get here and get y'all Epper jean, all right? All right, moving on. We've got the cut to clear decanter set, candy dishes, old clock, another nice little antique piece. Look, it's got little buttons. Isn't that great? We've got a lamp. We've got our little Victorian marble top table. You know, that's what they taught us in auction school, that one way to identify Victorian furniture was marble top, so I'll just leave that there. I uh, I, I started to uh, have some disagreements with me in the last couple days of school. Imagine that. All right, let's go around here. We got our game table. Got it set up nice and pretty for you. Another piece of Fenton. Is that one cracked? Yes. Yes, it's not cracked all the way through, but it does have a U-shaped crack, so make sure you check that out. It does not... You know, it doesn't click when you tap on it, but just note that now in case you don't feel like waiting in line for a piece. If, 
If it's correct, you wouldn't have been here. But you're coming anyway. All right, let's go. You keeping up? Yes, sir. All right. Living room area, as you can see, we've got a lot of the uranium, Vaseline glass, whatever tickles your fancy and makes you feel better when you talk about it. We've got that here. And I think there's some ballerina pattern somewhere in here. I know a lot of people like that. It's hard to find a whole set, but there's a lot of individual pieces here. Um, we've got this wonderful pump organ. Uh, does it work, Kenny? Do we know? Don't know. Might work. All right. But as you can see, it's in good shape. Great conversation piece for your, uh, you know, your entertaining room or your parlor. We've got a couple pieces of uh, stained glass, as you will see throughout the house. There's one in the other room, one here, one here, a big one here. Yeah, we know you like those guys. And what do we call this? A Steuben base. Atomic Mushroom Art Glass, pretty cool piece. I like that one. You know what that means? It means you're gonna have to pony up the dollars for it. Another little marble top table here. Very pretty, another antique clock. Another antique mantle clock. And I really like this picture right here. You know, it's, it's, it's very pretty. You'll see it when you get here. All right, where are we going? We got this little founder, another china cabinet, a nice little rocking chair, and the carpets that are left are for sale. I'll go ahead and tell you, we're we're we lost three bedrooms in the house. We made sure all the stuff that was not being sold was taken out beforehand, so you won't see it now, and so that filled up three bedrooms. So all the stuff you're seeing now. Unfortunately, there's three bedrooms more of it that we cannot sell. All right, take another great desk here. Folds down, covers up. Nice little desk lamp without the bulb. We gotta move those. <laughs> Corner cabinet has the key. Pretty cool. And check out this mirror. Kenny pointed this out earlier. Nice mirror, extremely heavy. Definitely have to hang that, hang that in a stud, or it might be falling through your kitchen floor. Ceramic Christmas tree, works. I know you guys like to fight over those. Nice little basket, what's that little three, four, five gallon jug down here. Nothing special. All right, more pieces of glass. Got this great piece right here. What do we call these? Demi, Demi Loom table, yeah. Demi Loom console. <laughs> nice piece. A little wash stand. Piece on top of it. Got some great carnival glass pieces. Yes. Another clock. What do we have here? It's like a record cabinet, possibly. Some more Vaseline glass, a little fan glass. What do we have in here? Some Balik. Balik. Some German pieces of porcelain. Small oil lamps. All right. We can't have this go too long. All right. Which way do we want to go? Left. Left? Mm. Check out this clock. Make sure you show them this clock. Hope everybody sees that. All right. Let's go around. Just kind of pan around, get the dishes so everybody gets a good idea. We've got the little verde green pieces over here. We've got the Fire King set down here with a bunch of pieces that go with it. We've got Corel. We've got all sorts of, what is this? Smith Taylor, Taylor, Taylor Smith. Um, what else do we have over here? More Fire King. Fire King. Oh, and I know a lot of you like the melamine. Lots of melamine over here. See all these cool pieces? Teacups, saucers. This is our little catch-all area. We got some coins, some costume jewelry, pocket watches. Look for more pictures this evening. Uh, we've got some great pictures over here and canister sets. And we have this great little Christmas set over here, Tom and Jerry. How you like that? It's like an anchor hawking set. What is this one? Can't read it. You'll have to come check it out. And this canister set, are you getting me that far away? Oh. 
Got our McCoy mixing bowls, another set of Fire King mixing bowls. And for grandma and grandpa, here's your little uh, matching set of cups so you can know, remember who you are. All right, let's go. We've got one room down here we're gonna check out and then we're gonna see the rest. Follow me. All right, nothing but red glass in here. Isn't that right? Nothing but red glass. Nothing but you red. You get the idea? Another stained glass window. Is the piano for sale? Correct, it's for sale. Okay, piano will be for sale. I probably needs a tune. All right, keep going through here. We got our little moon and stars piece over here. All sorts of stuff. We got a mixture of Fostoria and here, everything in here. It's just all mixed up. We tried to get the patterns as much as possible, but there's a bunch of individual pieces that don't have a match. Like we've got a sugar and a creamer over here. We've got, you know, sugar and creamer over there. We've got a sugar without a lid. You know, there's, so there's a couple pieces that don't have matches to them. All right, let's keep going. All right, we've been in there. All right, table. Only has three chairs, that's it. And see, so here's some more of the jewelry, pocket watches, look, some old goggles, another awesome claw foot cabinet, lots and lots and lots of porcelain in there. Look at the pictures if you want more details there. Another cabinet over here. Yeah, I'm afraid to open it. Lots of stuff in here. Ooh, that's a pretty piece right there. Why are y'all hiding this from me? Look at that. Yes. That's great. All right. And the round table you saw in the dining room, these are the four chairs that are with it. You know, I kind of like that table aside by itself. It's like an entryway piece. Or you could still use it as a table with the chair. So I'm going to price them separately. I think... Uh, we won't have a problem selling them individually if you want to show up and buy them separately. Uh, more Limoges, things like that. Here, great piece right here. Look how easy the drawer open. Look at that. Ken, all right. Make note as we're going down, and especially you, Kenny, since you have a camera, um, there are steps. This is dangerous. Huh? The cabinet? The light. Oh, the light. All right. Got a couple pieces of furniture in here. Kitty wants to come in here and show you what we got. Hey, is this a little wicker piece for sale? Yes. All right. That's a nice little wicker piece. These pieces in here. Hey, if you've got the uh, piece that goes with this, nice little, was it, a wedding basket or something? Yeah. All right. Let's keep going. Okay, here's where you gotta be careful. Coming down the steps. This is gonna be very dangerous. We've had to utilize this whole outside, so it just keeps going. And Kenny, if you'll get me a shot of all of this in here. As you can see, there is a lot. A lot of glass, a lot of glass, and a lot of glass. So be careful. Put a little, what's the fish basket up here? Chicken basket. Chicken basket. Fish. Why not? Why do we want to think these are fish baskets? I don't know. I'm crazy. Ooh, fancy. Pretty. Let's see. There's all sorts of cool stuff in here. Look how that just reflects off of that. That's kind of neat. All right, we got amber, some canary, yellow, more carnival glass. We've got old. Singer treadle sewing machine. We got our Martha Washington sewing cabinet back here. We've got this uh, little gate leg drop leaf table. Pretty cool. Don't see those that often. We got this lacquer wardrobe storage cabinet, wherever you want to call it. We've also got our double banded rattan down here. But this lacquer cabinet, hey, bring hell. You hear me? I'm sure it's going to be fun. I believe it does come apart. About six pieces. Six pieces. You hear that? Six pieces. Look over here. Look at this beautiful purple and this green. And another sewing cabinet. Look at this. 
What we got over here? Got an old phonograph over here. Is that right? Phonograph? Yep. Yeah. Big trailer phonograph. Hey, look at that. Still cranks, too. <laughs> Whoops. All right, we got our pink, our cobalt blue. We got a big trunk. We have a lacquer table down here that kind of matches the um, wardrobe. And let's see, what is this, an Italian pole? Pretty chandelier. And don't forget the chocolate box. Hey, I saw, I saw all these chocolate boxes in auction all rusted out. So for what, like $10 or $15 Saturday night? Mm -hmm. And it was like completely rusted out. Um, right here, if you come up here, we still have a work in progress as we're going through all the flatware. But let's see, we have sterling right here. And some of it matches, not so much. Everything right here is an international Wedgwood matching set. Uh, I believe some of the pieces may have monograms on them. I, I remember seeing one or two in there that had monograms. A lot of this over here has monograms on it, has dates on it. I think I saw one spoon that was dated 1854. I don't know where it went, but it was in here. I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, there it is. HT, 1865, I'm sorry. And there's a bunch of pieces like that, you know, that flimsy old silver. And those, I love those old pines on those forks. And like we said, there's more down here. Uh, most of this is gonna be plated, except for what I showed you here in the sterling. And we will be pricing this um, based on silver prices and um, desired, you know, pattern. All right, what do we have here? Nice, unusual wardrobe. I do like that one. Check that out. See, wouldn't this be so much more fun to auction off all this stuff? Oh yeah. We could just run through here and be like, hey, give it a bit on the blue glass. All right. And let's see here. You know, riding off in the sleigh through the snow. Sing a song and take that one home with you. Nice mirror on the wall. Got a little side table. Nice and pretty. Couple odds and ends, let's keep going. Oh, make sure you show them this gun cabinet. All right, guys. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm always honest with you. If there's something I like, you know, I'll sell it to you first, but I've got a price in mind that I would pay, and if you aren't at least there, uh, you know, hey, my job is to get the most money for it. But this is a gun cabinet. It is rather large. You've got pistol hangers over here. you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15 gun slots in there. I mean, it's just too cool. And it's a massive piece. Storage underneath. All right, let's keep going. Man, you way far back there. I got gotcha. you. All right, let's go. See, as you can see, we keep going. I like how they, they stole our lantern with the red shades. Mm-hmm. Lots of cool mason jars you can see. Look at the ghosting on that one and the bubbles. That one's pretty cool. Some cool care jars in here and crown jars. I don't really look at the care too much, but uh, there's some good ones in here. Got a little waterfall trunk. As you can see, we've got a little, uh, yep, exactly what it is. And we've got these metal doll houses. I know uh, in Donaldsonville, a bunch of you look at the doll houses and nobody, uh, a couple of you didn't make it home with them. So we've got one here, one up there. Uh, do we have any furniture? Yep. Yep. What we got? What we got here? Furniture. Hey, good made furniture. Big lots. Hey, can't go wrong there. Big lots will load it for you too. Got our glass door knobs, old Cadillac rear view mirror. Vintage toys. Hey, now what does this thing do? I like that bell. It's got vintage toys, bugs, or vintage child care. Lots of great books. Hey, you gotta check these books out right here. There's some awesome books. Uh, early 1800s. I think there might be some 18th century in here. There's lots of classic literature. I noticed a lot of Dickens in here. Uh, because I'm a Dickens fan. 
but it was stuff that I already had. Um, but that's a great set right there. What is that? Popular Ignorance Foster. Great found set right there. But that is, that does have a uh, 19th century bindings on it, and it's got the marble paper, so we know it's not our 1700 set. And this. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I'll price it all kind of pieces. You know, I'll match the cups up. I'll do a price on the plates. But I mean, look, we've got, you know, one pitcher and then we've got another pitcher and another pitcher. I think we have, what, four of the exact pitchers. We got, you know, five or six of the same bean pots, cookie jars, crock pots. We've got multiples of many of those. And as you can see down on the floor, there's even more down there. All right. Let's turn around and go over some of these pieces. We got a bag of marbles. How did those not end up in my pile? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just remember, you need to buy them. You guys know how I like marbles. Hey, Spencer, sell us your marbles. Look, there'll be some for sale. All right. And out here in the garage, we've got some pieces that might need a little work. Like this little marble top piece right here. Yeah, it's got the little looks like newer bat wing handles on it but uh it's a good piece definitely for to fix up put in your booths and what do we have here what is this Kenny? i don't know it's very unique huh yeah pretty cool cabinet hey very you guys cool. i couldn't believe it we had an old ice box last week and it reminded me of this that's why i had to open the door we didn't have it we went to an auction in graceville our friends down there uh, Mr. Albert Nix has an auction house across from Grady's an old hardware store. Uh, you'll have to check him out, but one of these old ice boxes like this big sold for $220. Yes, sir. Couldn't believe it. Blew my mind. But, you know, it just goes to show, don't think that somebody won't pay the price if they want the piece. Here's some of those cool crown jars. Where's my favorite? This is my favorite. This, like I said, I never like care, but I like this one. It's got a very cool top to it. And there's also lids over here with the ceramic tops, the glass tops. We have extras. We've got triple L balls in here. I like this one. What is this? A Boyd's Mason. That one's pretty cool to me at least. And that's a shoulderless. So that's that's a good piece. And this ideal jar. Can you like this one? It's unique. Nothing other than ideal on it. All right. And as you can see, there's more little vintage toys in here dolls let's see we've got these two little wicker chairs here we have some uh old ordinance boxes down here with stuff in them with stuff whoa you didn't have room for all that stuff oh my gosh so yeah there's lots of kitchen utensils in there we'll have to figure something out we're really just out of space on a lot of this all right let's keep going none of these are for sale correct kitty none of them are for sale but the things on top are correct yeah so as you can see, cool pieces. Old deep slanter. Scales. Oh, we have it here. There's an old kerosene. Is that, isn't that what those are, I believe? Yep. Yeah. We've got some cut glass. A lot of cut glass, it looks like. Check out that. I know we got a couple of decanter buyers. I really like that piece. That's a good one. Hmm. Let's see what else. What else we got in here, Kenny? That's worth talking about. Old lady glass. Old lady glass, yes. Tons of it. You know I love you old ladies. I look for this glass for y'all. So make sure you repay the favor and you at least come see me. You don't even have to bake me a pie or anything, but I mean, I'm not gonna say you can't. Cause you know I like pies. All right, we've got our little quilted shade right here. Really like that. No flaws in it. And check out some of these old light fixtures. So. This one right here is my favorite. It's just so bulky. Check out the, check that out. I mean, need some restoration work and probably find some shades that fit it here. Hey, that's what I need right there. All those bottles and caps that I got. See, look at that. Check out that capper right there. Detroit, Michigan. The capper. Meat grinder. Man, that is, uh, 
That is a very old hanging oil lamp. That, that's pretty neat. It's missing pieces, as you can see. And uh, another capper. And right here, we've got this uh, antique. No, I'm just kidding. We got a couple uh, hedge trimmers, chainsaws, kind of make those fit in there. Another trunk. Whoa, check that out. See, like I said, there's there's shades in here that probably fit some of these lights. That's pretty cool right there. Has that mid-century look to it with the little atomic stars that go around it. Neat piece. Slag glass. I know some of you guys just break this stuff up, but hey, obviously we are missing the light. Did we show them the other slag glass light? Mm -hmm. I don't think we did. That was in there on the um, rotator, right? Right. Another piece. Another little Art Deco piece I absolutely love. Look at that. It looks like a, a lady dancing. Look at that. She's got her arm laying back with her heart. Her nude body that lights up when you turn this thing on. Hey, turn it on. Come and get it. All right, what else we got in here? Another shade. We've got a bunch of aluminum stuff over here, it looks like. Yes. Some cast iron, anything good? Yes. Got a Griswold waffle maker. Man, I didn't, that's a, that's a weird, <laughs> that looks different. That looks different. All right, what else we got in here? Like I said, more cast iron, aluminum. A little burner. I like to find a piece that goes with that. All right. Go check out the pictures and look for that slag glass lamp. Hey, I'll put a picture up just in case we don't have it. But as you, get, as you can see, we have a lot of stuff here. Um, a lot of this stuff goes great in your boots this time of year. Uh, remember, we're kind of nearing the tail end of summer, but we still got travelers coming through Dothan, stopping in your booths. They can't take home the dresser, but you know, they can take home the old lady glass. They can take home the fire king. And so make sure you're getting these smalls to fill your booth up. And I think that'll be about it. Let's go. Well, thank you for hanging out with us through our video walkthrough. Like I said, be sure to check out DothanEstateSales.com uh, for all of the pictures and the exact uh, times and dates. We'll start at Thursday, 4 o'clock. And uh, like I said, I will put out a sign, out, sign up sheet out at noon on Thursday because I just think it's going to be too hot to ask for some of you to sit out and wait. Hey, you are more than welcome to wait, but... I'm going to pull the sign out sheet when I get here and I'm going to hope everybody's lining up about 30 minutes ahead of time. And if you missed the first part of the video, be sure to subscribe, comment, like, hit the little bell next to subscribe so you're notified every time that we upload a new video. And uh, we hope to see you Thursday. Thanks.